vases, vessels, cash flows? Have you got too many? I'm going to talk to you about the five you need in your cupboard. So, without further ado, we're going to start with our showstopper vase. That's when you get a big bunch of something fabulous from your lovely husband or wife, or you go picking in the garden and just fill it with some lovely branches. But make sure you've got one big vase in your cupboard. And that could be a lovely glass one, simple, simple, a beautiful cup glass heirloom, something funky and modern, or just some white glass. Just whatever, you, whatever takes your fancy or mixes in well with your house, you need a big showstopper. Then moving on to our favourite little bud vases. This can be anything you like, a little tube one, a little bottle one, something china, really sweet, but when you've just snapped a rose in the garden, or someone's given you a bouquet and there's one flower left over, you snap it off, pop it in there, lovely in the bathroom or on a windowsill, very sweet. So your bud vases, that's vase number two. Vase number three is your everyday sort of kitcheny type one. Now this is this can be fun, this can be something from a charity shop, it can be, I don't know, something that you've found in the back of the kitchen cupboard, but you don't need millions of them. Just be strict with yourself, cut out the dead wood, have some, have some options, so you've got jaunty Cornish, rustic pottery, glass, or just a sort of lovely, lovely, simple sort of china one with the jaunty chickens on, we love that. So that's your everyday, that's your third one. And number four, is pears. So it's lovely to have a pair of vases, any shape or size. They'd be great on a mantelpiece, um, on a side table, just kind of a bit of formality. So we love a pair. So we've got some lovely little smoked glass ones here from a certain Swedish shop. Then these lovely smoked blue wine glasses, they're lovely with some just some lovely blousy roses in. Then here we've got some little votive candle holders, they're very lovely, they're made of glass and they've got that sort of charming vintagey look. Um, and then, quite contemporary, these lovely black perspex cubes. They're great for a sort of minimal look. Uh, a dome of white roses or something like that. Really smart, simple. So number four, pears. You need pears. Then last, but by no means least, is the Reclamation Yard Junk Shop Find. So I love pottering around, having a good old look. Something like an old bread bin. I mean, that's just gorgeous. Fill that with cow parsley, or maybe a lovely old zinc bucket. Zinc buckets, they've got that lovely, charming vintage look. And then this, this is a lovely old metal urn I found, and I sprayed it grey, but you could spray it hot pink, or bright red, or dark green, and then have fun with that. So, junk shop finds, reclamation yards, thoroughly brilliant. And my favourite one would be this lovely old zinc watering can. It's a winner, just fill it with some lovely old wildflowers with that charming vintage look. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my vase chat today, and whatever you do, just don't have too many.